What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop, the weekly show where I let you know the hottest games coming out across the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the PC, the Switch, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about them right here. This week, a very big week with Death Stranding coming out on the PlayStation 4 from Kojima Productions, one of the biggest games of the generation just because of the amount of buildup and hype surrounding the game itself. On top of that, Need for Speed Heat is bringing back the legendary racing franchise Red Dead Redemption 2 shoots its way onto PC, and of course we have other games worth talking about as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this week's top video game releases. To kick things off, we have Death Stranding coming out on the PlayStation 4. From legendary game creator Hideo Kojima comes an all-new genre-defying experience for the PlayStation 4. Sam Bridges must save a world utterly transformed by the Death Stranding. Carrying the disconnected remnants of our future in his hands, he embarks on a journey to reconnect the shattered world one step at a time. With spectral creatures plaguing the landscape and humanity on the verge of a mass extinction, it is up to Sam to journey across the ravaged continent and save mankind from impending annihilation. What is the mystery of the Death Stranding? What will Sam discover on the road ahead? An unprecedented gameplay experience holds these answers and more. Here's the deal about Death Stranding. Not everyone is going to enjoy it. Some people are going to adore it, some people are going to loathe it, and you see this in the reviews. If you are somebody that pays attention to reviews, IGN gave the game a 6.8. There were many outlets that gave the game a 10 out of 10. Some gave it a pretty solid 7 or 8. Uh, it depends on the perspective of who is playing. And ultimately, you'll probably have to either check out some gameplay or dive into the game to see if it's something you would be interested in yourself. Uh, but without a doubt, the one point that I want to drive home is that I've never seen a game quite like Death Stranding in the concept, in the gameplay, in the protagonist, of course, being Norman Reedus. You really have some Something unique with Death Stranding, and if anything, it's going to be one of those cultural uh, pressure points where it's like, this was the game that changed something. We don't know what it was, much like the plot of the game, but it changed something. So if you want to see one of the strangest experiences of 2019, Death Stranding is hitting the PS4 this week, and if you are a PC player, it's coming out in summer 2020 for you guys. Next up, we have Need for Speed Heat coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Hustle by day and risk it all by night and Need for Speed Heat, a white-knuckle racer that pits you against a city's rogue police force as you battle your way into street racing's elite. By day, compete in the Speed Hunter Showdown, a sanctioned competition where you earn bank to customize and upgrade your garage of high-performance cars. When your ride is perfectly styled and hyper-tuned and you're ready to ramp up the intensity, drive out into the night where you and your crew take on the competition in illicit street races that build your reputation and grant you access to bigger races and better parts. But under the cover of darkness patrols a rogue task force looking to bring you down and swipe all you've earned. Take them on and risk it off for the underground glory or head back to your safe house and begin another thrilling day. The roads, the risks, and the rides never end in this street racer where your crew rolls deep, your garage is full of hot cars, and your city is your non-stop playground. In a way, Need for Speed Heat is a combination of Need for Speed Most Wanted and Need for Speed Underground, and I think that's exactly where the franchise needs to go. Embrace running from the cops, embrace the underground race and combine them together, throw on a very beautiful color scheme, and that's what you've got with Need for Speed Heat. Uh, now, aesthetically, the game looks stunning. They've really done something crazy with the lighting, and of course, there are plenty of reflections and puddles. It really is a late current-gen racing game that does take advantage of all of the little nooks and crannies, the bells and whistles that have been discovered over the past years as many racers have come out on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC in recent memory. Now, with that being said, exciting times nonetheless for a Need for Speed fan, uh, because this does look like something that is not going to be quite like the most recent reboots and the most recent entries that we've seen, uh, but it is going to be something that is familiar in a way. So if you do want to dive into a racer this week, Need for Speed Heat is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Next up, we have Red Dead Redemption 2 coming to PC. Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC takes full advantage of the power of the PC to bring every corner of this massive, rich, and detailed world to life from the windswept snowy peaks of the Grizzly Mountains to the dusty roads of Lemoyne, from the mud-spattered storefronts of Valentine to the cobbled streets of Saint Denis. New graphical and technical enhancements for deeper immersion include increased draw distances for better navigation, higher quality global illumination and ambient occlusion for improved day and night lighting, higher quality snow trails, improved reflections, and deeper, higher resolution shadows at all distances, tessellated tree textures and improved grass and fur textures for added realism in every plant and animal. 
Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC also offers HDR support, the ability to run high-end display setups with 4K resolution and beyond, multi-monitor configurations, widescreen configurations, faster frame rates, and more. In addition to the technical enhancements, Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC brings additional updates to the world of story mode, including three new bounty hunter missions, two new gang hideouts, new weapons, two new treasure maps, new horses for story mode, five new trinkets to collect with new effects, and a new mission to the ends of the earth where you collect requested herbs for a range of rewards. Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC is the pinnacle of the Red Dead Redemption 2 experience. This is the best version of the game that will ever be released. The versatility that comes with a PC release is unable to be matched by a console. Now, if you did just want the story, if you did just want to play Red Dead Online, then yeah, PS4, Xbox One, you're good to go. It won't look as good. There are a couple of additional pieces of content in the PC version of the game, but at the same time, it's the same game, really. That being said, look at that trailer. Oh my god, this game looks good. So if you want the best looking version of Red Dead Redemption 2, or if you are a PC player that has been holding out for the PC version of the game instead of playing it on console, Red Dead Redemption 2 is hitting PC this week on the Rockstar Games launcher. It's coming out in December on Steam, uh, but man, does this game look gorgeous. I'm talking photorealistic. I could go on forever, but we won't because we all need to prep and preload for Red Dead 2 on PC. Next up, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Tokyo 2020 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Join the world's greatest sports party. Celebrate the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 with your favorite characters, loads of events, and so many ways to enjoy the party on your Nintendo Switch. Have a blast competing with your friends in 30-plus action-packed 3D and classic 2D sports games, including new events for Tokyo 2020. Compete in all new Olympic sports, skateboarding, surfing, sport climbing, and karate, and a variety of events including archery, gymnastics, judo, boxing, marathon, football, equestrian, track and field, and many more. Experience the Olympic Games in a brand new way with 10 nostalgic 2D events that bring Mario, Sonic, and friends back to their classic roots. Choose from an incredible cast of characters including Mario, Luigi, Sonic, Tails, Yoshi, Amy Rose, Waluigi, Dr. Eggman, and many more. There are so many ways to play on your Nintendo Switch. Enjoy a variety of play styles including motion and button controls, single and dual Joy-Con, single player and multiplayer, local and online. A new Olympic event, a new Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It goes together like peas and carrots, wine and cheese. If you are a fan of a collection of mini games that have an Olympic theme and for some reason Mario and Sonic are competing, then by all means dive into this one because that's exactly what you are going to be getting and it's coming out this week on the Nintendo Switch. And to round out today's headline releases, we have Just Dance 2020 coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the Nintendo Wii. 40 hot new tracks. Keep the party going with the latest hits like I Don't Care by Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber and the new song Into the Unknown from Disney's Frozen 2. Free Just Dance Unlimited. Dance to 500 plus of your favorite songs. A free one month trial is included with every purchase. Choose your favorite songs, create playlists to customize your Just Dance parties. A kids mode allows you to enjoy eight new kid friendly songs, a fun experience for the youngest players. And All Stars mode lets you play 10 songs from past Just Dance games to unlock an exclusive reward. The most impressive thing for me about Just Dance is the community online, specifically in the streaming community, because so many people dig Just Dance, and I think it's pretty cool. With that being taken into consideration, you're never gonna catch my ass doing it, but hey, if you want to, by all means, uh, dive in, because Just Dance 2020 is coming out this week on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the Wii, because it remains profitable all these years later. And before we go, we have a couple of honorable mentions. First off, Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy is coming out on the Nintendo Switch after having a stint on 3DS. New Super Lucky's Tale is coming out on the Switch as well. Hunt Showdown is hitting the PS4 and the Xbox One. And Black Sad Under the Skin is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. But that rounds out today's episode of The Drop. If you enjoyed this one, drop me a like down below. And of course, let me know what games caught your eye, if any, this week. Are you diving into Red Dead 2 on PC, hitting the streets in Need for Speed Heat, perhaps even exploring what Death Stranding actually is on the PlayStation 4? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. But until next time, have a fantastic rest of the week. I will talk to you soon, and peace.